Quantum Capitalist by Renee Garcia. From poverty psychology to wealth using practical quantum mechanics. Lesson 31. Black Hole Slingshot. All right. In our previous lesson, we delved into the art of refining what we project into the world to amplify the quality of our reality. Do you spot a pattern with the last few lessons? Let's recap. On one side of the dual mirror world concept, we selectively choose and interpret what comes our way, using that feedback to craft our internal vibe. On the flip side, we launch our finest intents into the quantum field with a metaphysical boomerang, ensuring this vibrant energy exchange keeps churning and forming our ideal reality. The crux? Positive engagement with both sides of our reality. The input received from the world and the output we project to our world. Engage with what reality offers you. And in return, send out your consciously crafted message. But wait, there's more depth to dive into. Time to learn the art of positively interacting with those seemingly destructive black holes. Yes, you heard that right. While a tranquil reality requires disassociating from the downers that black holes can be, a thriving reality necessitates leveraging them to your advantage. Enter the black hole slingshot. Ready to tune in and level up? Each day, you're flipping through the frequencies of life, sometimes stumbling upon a rocking track, and sometimes a cacophonous noise. These frequencies are driven by the information you choose to dial into. Think of destructive black holes as those static-filled stations, giving you nothing but noise. But what if I told you black holes play different tunes for different folks? Some might just have the beat to get you grooving to higher sectors. You see, it's not all about what black holes take from you, but also what they can potentially give back. There are black holes that uplift, that inspire, that challenge you in the most invigorating ways, while others may have a different relationship. Instead of focusing on the negative black holes that drain you, why not shift your perspective and find those that boost your signal? Meet Jamie. Jamie had a habit. Every weekend, she'd plunge into the black hole that was YouTube. From cat videos to travel vlogs, she'd dive headfirst into this digital vortex, emerging only when Monday came knocking. Before she knew it, her weekends vanished into pixelated memories, leaving her wondering, where'd all the time go? But one fateful Sunday, as Jamie was watching her 67th consecutive DIY video, she stumbled upon a video titled, How to Become a YouTube Superstar. Hey, I can do this. Jamie thought. Instead of being a passive consumer in this black hole, she decided to become its star. Jamie bought a light ring and started her own channel. Her weekends were now dedicated to creating content she loved. From her misadventures in baking to her thoughts on trending topics, she shared it all. Not only was she now productive during her weekends, but the black hole that once consumed her time was now working in her favor. As her subscriber count grew, so did her confidence and sense of purpose. The black hole, which once sucked her weekends into a void, was now propelling her into YouTube stardom. The moral? Black holes can be as destructive or as beneficial as you make them. Jamie could have continued her endless watching spree but she chose to tune into the black hole at a different frequency. She eventually transformed her passive consumption into passive income. Like Jamie, it's essential to recognize that sometimes the very black hole that appears to be draining us can be the one that also catapults us to new heights. It's all about how you interact with it. Meet Alex. Once upon a tipsy time, Alex was hopelessly lost in the alcohol black hole. Nights blended into mornings, 
and hangovers became a permanent fixture. Friends worried, family intervened, but the seductive pull of the bottle was just too strong for him to resist. However, one particularly rough morning, the weight of his addiction bore down on him. It was an existential dread he couldn't shake off. Recognizing the damage he was doing to himself and the relationships he cherished, Alex decided to dive into sobriety. With rehab, counseling, and the unyielding support of his loved ones, he managed to break free from the shackles of his addiction. But here's the twist. Alex's love for the vibrant and intricate world of cocktails didn't vanish. He remembered the delight he took in mixing flavors, creating new drinks, and the showmanship that went with it. But could he still be part of that world without falling back into its darker corners? Determined, Alex enrolled in a bartending course, focusing on flair bartending. Juggling bottles, spinning shakers, and wowing audiences with his cocktail-making dexterity, he innovated non-alcoholic cocktails, elevating them to a level of taste and sophistication that rivaled their alcoholic counterparts. Years passed, and Alex became a legend in the industry. Winning award after award, he was hailed not just for his unmatched skills, but for his inspiring story of transformation. Alex had managed to reverse out of the black hole's pull, from self-destruction to self-actualization. He often said, it's the same stage, just a different show. The alcohol black hole that once threatened to consume him was now the same platform from which he shone the brightest. Same black hole, different relationship. The money shot. Black hole benefactor. Here's the key insight you've been overlooking. Some black holes can actually be your financial allies. They're not solely about the void they pull you into. Sometimes, they're about the value they can bring to your life. When you start looking at the world from a perspective of it all being about energy, everything changes. Black holes thrive on the human energy that they can captivate and suck into their vortex. Here's the cool thing though. There is an accumulation of energy there for anyone to tap into. With this knowledge, you can easily pinpoint opportunities nearly anywhere you look. Start to see where human energy collects and then begin to recognize where you can tap into that arena and collect some of it for yourself. This is an incredibly enlightening concept and way to look at the world. Black holes can propel you to a prosperous new sector, leveraging the energy the black hole accumulates for your own good. The fact of the matter is nearly all black holes can be flipped to your favor. It's about recognizing how something is affecting you and flipping it to how you can benefit from it instead. Have at it. As long as you are not hurting anyone, you can do anything you want to do in this world. Don't let the matrix or black holes tell you otherwise. The main thing to keep in mind and ask yourself is, is the black hole getting the best of me? Or am I getting the best of it? The recap. Life's black holes aren't just energy drainers. Some can transmit the signals that lead to growth, prosperity, and wisdom. It's all about dialing into the black hole in a way that benefits you. Reject the static and embrace the symphony. Poke the brain. So ask yourself, which black hole is feasting on you? And how can you have a slice of its pie instead? Your next power move. A practical and juggernaut journal exercise. Black hole flipping. Objective. To transform the way you interact with a specific black hole in your life, turning a negative energy source into a positive one, thereby redefining your relationship with it. Duration, one month. You'll start to see changes within the first week, but for a lasting impact, give it a full month. Instructions. One, identify your black hole. 
take a moment to think about what drains your energy or mood on a daily basis. It could be mainstream media, social media platforms, politics, or any habitual activity. Write down this identified black hole in your journal. Two, research your alternative. Now, seek out a positive alternative to your identified black hole. If it's mainstream media that's bringing you down, consider platforms like positivenews.com or similar uplifting news sources. Note down this alternative in your journal next to your identified black hole. Three, commit to the switch. For one month, commit to switching from your draining black hole to your chosen positive alternative. If your black hole was spending hours aimlessly scrolling on social media, replace that time with creating meaningful content instead. Four, daily check-in. At the end of each day, reflect on your interaction with the alternative. Write down how you felt, any challenges you faced in making the switch, and the positive impacts you noticed. Five, weekly reflection. At the end of each week, go through your daily notes. Identify patterns, observe how your mood and energy levels have changed, and note any other positive ripple effects in your life. Six, celebrate small wins. Each time you successfully flip a black hole, even if it's just for an hour or a day, acknowledge and celebrate that victory. This is you becoming a practical magician. At the end of the month, Reflect on your journey of black hole flipping. How has your relationship with the original energy drainer changed? Do you feel a tangible difference in your overall well-being? Has your perspective on other potential black holes in your life evolved? Remember, this exercise isn't about demonizing or completely cutting out the original black hole. It's about becoming aware of its impact on you and consciously choosing how to interact with it in a way that serves you. The power is always in your hands. Lesson 32, Inner Force. Imagine this, you're the protagonist of your own action-packed movie. Every morning, the camera zooms into your intense gaze, ready to conquer the world. The soundtrack, the deafening chance of hustle, grind, push. This fiery spirit, this unyielding determination, that's your inner force. It's the modern hero's anthem, with moguls like Gary Vaynerchuk and Grant Cardone as the poster boys. Instagram reels are flooded with it, no days off, or push until it hurts. It's seductive, the idea of being this lone wolf, cutting through challenges with sheer will, you, wielding your inner force, can feel invincible. Like a surfer riding the biggest wave, there's a thrill, an adrenaline rush, but there's also the looming danger of wiping out if that wave isn't ridden with precision. And just like a surfer, there's a need to respect the force, understand it, and not get consumed by it. Now don't get me wrong, inner force is powerful. It's the engine that can drive your dreams to reality, propelling you into sectors of success you've only daydreamed about. But like all powerful engines, without the right checks and measures, it can overheat, it can malfunction, and it can crash, sending you on that downward spiral to lower sectors. Remember, even superheroes have their kryptonite. Meet Mia. She was a live wire from the start. Always up at dawn, her days were packed to the brim with tasks, each accomplished with a fierce intensity that left others in awe. The word quit wasn't in Mia's vocabulary. Gym sessions at 5 a.m., managing her startup till late at night. And in those rare moments of stillness, her fingers would be busy scrolling through motivational clips fueling her inner force even more. But there was a cost. 
While Mia's startup was a booming success, her health and relationships began to crack under the pressure. Friends began to call her the ghost as she seemed to fade from their lives. Dark circles took permanent residence under her eyes and her once radiant energy now seemed more like a flickering bulb threatening to go out. One day, while Mia was on a treadmill, pushing beyond her limits yet again, she collapsed. The diagnosis? Extreme exhaustion. The prescription? Complete rest and a reevaluation of her priorities. Mia's recuperation was an eye-opener. In the silence of her room, away from the blaring anthems of push harder, she had an epiphany. Her inner force wasn't meant to be a wrecking ball, smashing through every barrier in a frenzied haste. It was a power within, but best used in measured doses. Emerging from her hiatus, Mia transformed her hustle into a dance. Yes, she still chased her dreams, but now with grace. She took breaks, reconnected with loved ones, and even started a YouTube channel sharing her story, teaching others the balance of force and flow. Her channel, Forceful Grace, became an emblem of the new age hustle, one of passion and purpose without the burnout. Mia's message was clear. Your inner force is a tool, not the only tool. Handle with care. Every video ended with her new mantra, harness your force, but dance, don't destroy. The inner force paradox. The challenge with using inner force to amass wealth? Often, the returns aren't built to last. You end up shackled to the empire you've built, anxiously aware that a single misstep, which let's face it, is inevitable, will send you plummeting sectors downward. It lends depth to the term crash and burn, doesn't it? Today's culture might celebrate the non-stop hustle, but the true champions, they know the value of pause, reflect, recalibrate, and let their world do some of the heavy lifting. More on this to come. It's in those moments of stillness that clarity emerges and the path forward becomes evident. By merging the vigor of inner force with the wisdom of the quantum field, you create a formula not just for success, but for sustained, meaningful, and joyful achievement. In this era dominated by hustle-hard anthems, you can be that luminary, crafting a legacy without the constant dread of maintaining it. Think back to disproportionate energy and gravity. What goes up must come down. The golden rule? Stay grounded while aiming for the stars. Balance is the name of the game. The recap. Inner force is the intense personal drive championed by many. It's about using every ounce of your personal energy, mentally and physically, to achieve your dreams. It's appealing, prevalent, and for some, quite successful. But unchecked, it's a path to burnout, isolation, and often profound disappointment. Poke the brain. Are you riding a wave of inner force, or are you just being swept away by it? Your next power move, inner force awareness exercise. Reflect on those intense moments in your journey or your relentless drive pushed you to the extreme, leading not to triumph, but to exhaustion and eventual surrender. This scenario, marked by a relentless hustle and an overpowering inner force, is all too common in today's entrepreneurial culture. But take a moment to ponder. How often has this overwhelming inner force led to outcomes that starkly contrasted with your intentions? As we gear up for our next lesson, which promises to offer a transformative alternative and a complete shift in perspective, it's vital to first recognize instances where your forceful inner drive may have backfired. 
consider times when your unwavering determination resulted in unintended consequences, or when your intensity transformed into disproportionate energy, ultimately leading to more work or significant challenges to overcome. Remember, it's all about the balance and utilization of your energy. This exercise aims to heighten your awareness of such instances where your energy might have been misdirected. By acknowledging these patterns, you're preparing yourself for our next session, where we'll delve into a practical and almost miraculous solution. Lesson 33, Outer Power. All right, got the memo? It's not just about racing to burnout, hustling hard, and carrying the world solely on your shoulders with brute inner force. Strap in, because I'm about to drop a metaphysical bomb on you. Ready? Quick refresher. Remember those nights burning the midnight oil, sweating out every deadline, riding high on the hustle wave, and wearing it as a badge of honor? But what if there's a smoother path? Say hello to outer power. You know those moments? The random luck, the unexpected success, or that perfect timing. That isn't coincidence. It's the quantum field doing you a solid, or if you're more spiritually inclined, it's God giving you a nod and a wink. Think of it like this. You're at a theme park. You could spend hours in line for the roller coaster using every ounce of patience and inner force. Or someone from the park staff could spot you, walk over and hand you a fast pass, letting you breeze right to the front. That's outer power in action. It's the quantum field's way of saying, hey, I've got your back. You've been operating like a manual car, shifting gears, grinding clutches, using that inner force to push the pedal but what if I told you there's an automatic mode? A mode where the gears shift seamlessly without you having to do much. It's like upgrading from manual to a self-driving car. Meet Leo. A dynamic young clinical therapist, Leo is convinced his voice has the power to shift perspectives. He's fueled by ideas, advocating for mental health awareness and the need to break down the stigmas surrounding mental illnesses. Every night, post office hours, Leo is found hammering away on his blog, sharing stories, insights, and research. But he senses a greater pull, an urge to reach more people, to foster a larger conversation. Podcasts? That sounds right for Leo. With unmatched determination, Leo looks to plunge into the realm of podcasting, each night, after clocking out from his regular job, he's crafting perfect pitch emails. And weekends? They're booked solid with advanced workshops, diving deep into the podcast booking scene, and occasionally letting himself fantasize about being heard in a big way. There's no doubting it. Leo's seal is at its peak. But it seems he's just spinning his wheels. Days become weeks then months, and the inbox, dishearteningly barren. But just when the relentlessness seems to wear him down, making Leo question if his advocacy is getting lost in the vast digital wilderness, the quantum field winks. While skimming through his social media feed one evening, a new notification appears. A direct message from Mental Matters, a leading podcast that dives into mental health topics. The message is simple, but promising. Hey Leo, chanced upon your blog. The depth of your content? Exceptional. How about a discussion on our upcoming episode? After the airing of Leo's episode, the reception is overwhelming. Invites from numerous other podcasters start pouring in, placing Leo in the delightful dilemma of choice. The twist. None of these are from the podcasts he initially set his sights on. It seems the universe had better, more fitting platforms in store for him. 
All Leo had to do was stay aligned with his vision and allow this perfect opportunity to come his way. That, right there, is the magic of outer power. It's when the world recognizes you, sees the light of your passion, and decides to amplify it in all the ways you had dreamed. Outer power is the world bringing you something in line with your intention or goal, or maybe just a little bit of exactly what you need. The money shot, becoming the quantum field's favorite child. Outer power isn't about flexing your muscles. It's about letting the quantum field and the matrix flex its muscles for you. The quantum field is bursting with opportunities and solutions tailor-made for you. It's that secret sauce that elevates the ordinary to the extraordinary. And guess what? It's limitless. No burnouts, no hitting brick walls, just pure effortless magic that you hold the power to initiate. The recap, remember that time you hustled so hard you felt like you hit a dead end? That's because you were so focused on wielding your inner force that you overlooked the helping hand of outer power. It's not about working harder. It's about working smarter with quantum energies. Poke the brain. When was the last time something unexpectedly awesome happened to you? Could it be that outer power was trying to give you a taste of its magic? Your next power move. Neutralizing inner force and engaging outer power. Feeling a bit baffled? Don't worry, I got you. Grasping the concepts of inner force and outer power in these teachings can indeed be a head scratcher. I've been there, but fear not. I'm here to guide you through. Let's break it down with a simple exercise to put everything into perspective. Here's a quick example to illustrate. First, consider inner force in action. Picture yourself in a hotel in an exotic city, yearning for a coffee, but room service is unavailable. Annoyed, you get dressed and set out to find a cafe. You walk around, ask for directions, and constantly check your phone's Maps app. Despite the effort, you finally find a cafe, but you're still irked when you get your coffee. In this scenario, your intense focus on needing coffee led to frustration and a lack of appreciation for your surroundings. Now, let's see how outer power changes the game. This time, upon realizing room service can't help, you decide to relax in bed a bit longer before casually strolling through the city. You admire the architecture and enjoy your walk, keeping the thought of coffee in mind, but not obsessing over it. Lo and behold, you stumble upon a renowned cafe with a welcoming table in the sun just for you. Here, without the urgent need to find coffee, the world pleasantly surprises you, presenting a delightful, stress-free coffee experience. In both scenarios, you achieve your goal of getting coffee, but the experiences are worlds apart. The first is stressful and narrowly focused, while the second is enjoyable, filled with unexpected delights. Now, here's your task for the next week. Identify a moment in your life driven by inner force. Then, consciously shift gears, send out your intention to the universe, and carry on with your day, allowing the possibility of it materializing on its own through outer power. By recognizing when you're overly reliant on inner force, you can open yourself to the magic of outer power. The art of transitioning from energetically draining efforts to letting life effortlessly bring opportunities to your doorstep is a game changer. Master this, and you've just leveled up like a motherfucker. Lesson 34, harnessing and leveraging. Let's go deeper. Reflect for a moment on how you've been running on inner force. Those goals you've chased, 
the mountains you've tried to climb, and the relentless hustle and grind. Sure, you've snagged some wins, but at what price? Endless nights of zero Zs, missing out on precious family time, and that never-ending burnout. Sound familiar? And then, there's the allure of outer power, seemingly too good to be true. But wait, what if I told you there's a third way? A path that doesn't leave you wrung out or chasing shadows. Intrigued? Let's peel back the layers. In the standard hustle, most of us are blind to the mystical beast that is outer power. We're all about that inner force life, the relentless push that gets us through the Monday blues and beyond. But here's the game changer. Have you ever stopped to feel the energy buzz of others around you? Their inner force could be the missing beat in your life soundtrack. You see, while capitalism is built on the labor and man hours of the working person, quantum capitalism has a refined and superior approach to this energetic exchange. One that benefits both the one working from a place of inner force and you, dear reader, seeing the value in capitalizing off of it. Quantum capitalism spins a different yarn. It's about a win-win energy exchange where both the inner force hustler and you, the savvy quantum capitalist, score big. Inner force is all about that burning desire, the single-minded pursuit of a dream. But here's the twist. When you help someone else catch their dream, their inner force becomes your power-up. Imagine tapping into their drive and using it as fuel for your own quantum journey. Let's break it down. The inner force of those around you, their ambitions, drives, and desires becomes your secret sauce, your outer power. It's about transforming their energy into a catalyst that propels both of you towards greater heights. In this lesson, we're not just talking theory, we're talking street smart quantum capitalism. It's about sensing the energy around you and harnessing it to elevate your path and theirs. This is modern day alchemy, where inner force meets outer power and together they create something extraordinary. Ready to tap into this power and turn your world upside down? Let's do this. Meet Jane, a zealous entrepreneur with an unwavering dream, a sustainable fashion line that doesn't just follow trends, but sets them. Jane's brimming with ideas, armed with deep insights into sustainable materials. However, she's hitting walls left, right, and center. From the elusive funding to nitty gritty supply chain mechanics. But then stars align and into her orbit come Raj and Alex. Raj, a marketing maven. His social media accounts aren't just followed, they're celebrated, drowned in likes, shares, and the hard eyes emoji. Raj, deep down, is an eco-warrior at heart. His inner force? To reshape consumer behavior and be known not just as a marketer, but as the harbinger of green marketing. Alex, picture a supply chain maestro with an impressive resume, flaunting collaborations with fashion bigwigs. But here's the twist. Alex is on the brink of a professional existential crisis. The waste, the carelessness of the industry has been eating away at him. His inner force screams for change, a shakeup, and most importantly, responsibility. Jane, being the visionary she is, doesn't merely see two potential team members. She sees a reservoir of raw, untapped energy. So, she goes beyond the usual elevator pitch. She speaks directly to their inner forces. To Raj, she paints a picture of a world where marketing is not just about selling, but about educating, about creating waves of change, starting with sustainable fashion. To Alex, she lays out a vision of a supply chain that's not just efficient, but conscious. An approach where every link in the chain is a testament to responsibility and forward thinking. The outcome? With the trio's combined might, they don't just carve a niche, they sculpt a legacy. Raj's campaigns are no longer just posts. They're movements, 
movements that ripple across the globe, reshaping perceptions and realigning consumer preferences toward sustainability. Meanwhile, Alex crafts a supply chain blueprint so avant-garde it has industry stalwarts scrambling for notes. Jane's fashion line? It's not just a brand. It's a revolution. All because she recognized the inner forces at play and harnessed them, not just for her dream, but for a shared vision, a masterclass in creating symphonies out of solo acts. The Money Shot. Harnessing Inner Force. The secret lies in not just understanding your inner force, but learning to harness the collective inner force around you. Each person you interact with has their motivations that propel them forward. Now imagine, what if you could align these individual energies to create a shared momentum towards your vision? The idea is not to drain or manipulate others, but rather to cultivate their inner force for your benefit. When individual inner forces align towards a common goal, everyone wins. This concept moves away from the overglorified hustle culture to a space of shared success. Instead of I win, you lose, it becomes we win together. The recap. Tapping into the collective inner force involves shifting from a self-centric approach to a collective one. It means finding shared goals, empowering others, actively listening, and balancing importance in you being solely in the spotlight. If this resonates, great. If not, welcome to a whole new perspective. Poke the brain. Reflect on a moment when you felt truly heard and valued. How did it influence your motivation and alignment with the person or group who made you feel that way? How can you recreate that for others, creating a collective inner force for you to harness for your benefit? Your next power move, energy spotting. Imagine seeing the world not just as a collection of objects and events, but as a vibrant dance of energy. That's the essence of quantum capitalism, recognizing and tapping into the dynamic flow of energy that underpins everything from wealth and love to happiness and well-being. Every human experience, at its core, is an energetic phenomenon. This exercise isn't just a task. It's an awakening. Your mission. To become an astute observer of energy in its myriad forms. It's about developing an eye for the energetic currents that swirl around you. Notice how people and systems harness the inner force of others to achieve dual goals. Observe those who exert energy without a meaningful direction or purpose. Where do you see wasted potential, untapped resources, or misdirected efforts? Then, shift your focus inward. How can you, in your unique position, start leveraging the energy around you to your advantage? This isn't about exploitation. It's about recognizing opportunities for mutual benefit and growth. How can you channel the energy you observe into productive, fulfilling avenues that elevate not just you, but those around you? Embrace this new lens of perception. See the world as an energetic playground where your understanding of inner force, outer power, and the interplay between the two can lead you to higher sectors of existence. Acknowledge your inner force, appreciate the force in others, and open yourself up to the enchanting possibilities of outer power. As you begin to view life through this energetic prism, you'll notice a shift in your reality. It will take on a new hue, a more vibrant and dynamic quality, as you align more closely with the rhythms of the quantum field. The path to higher sectors is not just about physical movement, but about an energetic evolution. Are you ready to transform your perception and embrace the full potential of quantum capitalism? Lesson 35, Quantum Dance. Got the gist of outer power from our previous lesson? Great, it's a doozy. 
but this powerhouse concept is like an onion. Let's peel back another layer and uncover even more of its essence, shall we? Outer power is the quantum field's intention working in conjunction with your desires. The allure of outer power is undeniable and timelessly. It's been echoed across a myriad religions and philosophies. Here's a snapshot, Taoism's Wu Wei. Often translated as non-action or non-doing, it underscores the art of living in harmony with the Tao, the primal order of existence. Align with the Tao and actions seamlessly flow. Law of attraction, rooted in new thought philosophy, it asserts that our thoughts, whether positive or negative, magnetize corresponding experiences. Cultivate a positive mindset, and you'll naturally draw in uplifting opportunities. Christianity's promise. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. At its core, this belief encourages faith, prayer, and living according to divine principles. In return, believers find their needs met and wishes granted. Sufism's call to surrender. In this strand of Islamic mysticism, surrendering to Allah's will harmonizes one with the divine blueprint, allowing life to unravel with purpose and grace. Rastafarianism's eye and eye, a belief in the God within and the interconnectedness of all. By acknowledging this innate divinity, we can better synchronize with the universe's rhythm. Shamanism, across its diverse traditions, is a shared conviction by fostering a bond with the spiritual realm and nature, one attracts healing, insights, and providential moments. Zen Buddhism's Zazen. This meditative practice beckons one to be present, letting thoughts and feelings ebb and flow, which nurtures non-attachment and lets the universe manifest uninhibitedly. Consider this analogy Inner force is like swimming tirelessly against a current, while outer power feels akin to effortlessly riding a supportive wave. It's the distinction between tirelessly pushing against your world and being gracefully carried by it. Consider dreams. Ever dreamt you were soaring above the clouds? You weren't consciously thinking, I insist on flying. Instead, it was a realization. Oh, I'm flying. There's a subtle, yet quantum field-sized difference between the two. Inner force charges at goals like a bull, while outer power strolls with the elegance and assurance of a cat, knowing its desires are already met. Need more contrast? Picture this. Inner force is the muscle-bound guy trying to force open a jammed door. Outer power is the suave dude who simply knocks, and the door magically swings open. Or think of it as the battle of space. With inner force, you're tirelessly pushing your existence into the vast space, trying to make a mark. Outer power, however, makes it all come to you like you're the center of the quantum field. The money shot, the true catalyst to wealth. The road to amplified wealth is built on the bedrock of outer power. While the lesson on inner force makes it clear that our personal drive can propel us to a point, it has its limits. Relying solely on inner force can sustain you, but it's through harnessing the world's collective intention, tapping into outer power, that you truly skyrocket to success. When you're perfectly attuned to the quantum field, there's no need to strain or strive. Simply set your sights, Radiate your passion, and before you know it, opportunities will come knocking. With this synergy, there's no need to force things. The quantum field starts conspiring in your favor. The recap. It's not just about achieving goals, but how you get there. Remember, you can choose to wrestle with reality or let it serenade you with opportunities. Don't believe it? Go back to the lesson on guiding theory. Poke the brain. Reflect on a recent goal you achieved. Was it through sheer inner force or did you allow the quantum field to pave a path for you? Your next power move, outer power assistance meditation. 
get comfortable. Find a quiet and comfortable place to sit or lie down. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to center yourself and get into a meditative state. Set your intention. Quietly ask the quantum field for assistance with your intention. Be clear and specific about what you're asking for. Visualize the door opening. Imagine a door opening before you. Visualize the energy of outer power assistance coming to your aid, streaming through the open door. Embrace the gifts. Visualize yourself embracing all the gifts, opportunities, signs, and offered assistance without questioning, judging, or refusing, because it doesn't seem like exactly what you had thought it would look like. Open yourself to new possibilities and outcomes in unexpected ways. Commit to keeping the door open. Set a commitment to yourself to keeping the door for outer power open. Feel the energy of this commitment deeply. Close the meditation. Leave the meditation knowing that outer power is behind you, moving you along without you even knowing it. Take a moment to express gratitude for this support. Carry the energy. As you slowly open your eyes and return to your day, take the energy of this meditation with you. Carry the knowledge that outer power is assisting you and stay open to the signs and opportunities that present themselves. Remember to revisit this meditation whenever you need a reminder of the support available to you from the quantum field and outer power. Lesson 36. Face off. You think you know yourself? Time for a recalibration. Your existence operates ad infinitum. There's the quantum you, able to successfully navigate the realm of endless possibilities, juxtaposed against the static matrix you, tethered by conventions, standards, and limiting beliefs, and every version in between. Quantum mechanics doesn't merely exist in academic journals and labs. It's the undercurrent of your life's narrative. Imagine a vast array of selves one end is the embodiment of aspiration, and the other, well, let's call it garbage you. You get to toggle between the highest version of yourself, think penthouse sector level 10 version of you, and the lowest, that dusty old basement sector level 1 version of you. Your qualifiers decide your floor and self. But don't just take my word as gospel. Jump into this perspective and confirm it for yourself. The challenge isn't just acknowledging this spectrum, but mastering the art of the toggle. Amidst the sprawling expanse of quantum realities, countless versions of you exist. Not all versions are animated at once in the infinite sectors, but a single version gets invited to take center stage courtesy of the quartet. Guiding theory, thoughts, action, and frequency. Remember those. In essence, your avatars are all waiting behind the mirror of reality, available to become animated, and you decide which version is brought to life. Comfortable playing a lower version, or are you ready to choose another? Enter Quantum U. Close your eyes, if you dare, and envision Quantum U. Not the know-it-all, superficial, ego version, but the distilled and unapologetic version. Quantum U is the optimal, risk-taking, theoretical, skull-crushing version of you. This isn't a mere alter ego. It's a paradigm shift. While the current version of you may get lulled into societal algorithms, Quantum U is the disruptor, the system hacker, the winner. Every choice you face, Quantum U is the audacious voice challenging convention, questioning, why this path? Why not another? Quantum you then guides the way to higher sectors via higher information and opportunities accessed via the quantum field. But the narrative isn't devoid of antagonists. Matrix U thrives on the predictable, the mundane cycles. 
It's the echo of the status quo, a vortex that Quantum U consistently attempts to prevent you from getting sucked into. If life seems to offer monotones, chances are Matrix U has been dictating the script. Ready for a narrative shift? Quantum U and Matrix U, engaged in a perpetual dance-off, each strategizing moves and counter moves. If life's been a predictable loop, it's likely Matrix U holds the dominant moves. But with Quantum U on the dance floor, expect some trophy winning voguing. Why this dynamic though? Why isn't identity straightforward? For insights, we can't bypass the spiritual prowess of G.I. Gurdjieff. He didn't just illuminate this idea. He tore the fabric to expose an intricate tapestry. Prepare for a metaphysical death drop. Diving into the many eyes. Gurdjieff's key to unlocking your real self. George Gurdjieff. A name that stands out in those spearheading the intricacies of the human psyche. Born around 1872 in the mystic landscapes of Alexandropol, Asia Minor, Gurdjieff was a wanderer, an explorer of esoteric knowledge. His travels through the East brought him a treasure trove of insights, which he generously gifted to the West. His revelation? Humanity is in a cosmic slumber. Every gesture, every decision, every giggle, and every tear born out of a state of unconsciousness. It's like we're all in a dream, believing it's real. Can truly aware individuals, Gurdjieff muses, plunge themselves into the abysses of war and hate? The chaos around us? It's because most of us are asleep at the wheel. But here's where Gurdjieff turns the tables. This somnambulist state isn't a life sentence. You can, he assures, awaken. You can evolve from an automaton to a conscious dynamo of your existence. The quest to know thyself. How do you break the trance? Begin with brutal honesty. Confront the chasm between the person you believe you are and the reality of your behavior. Although this mirror may reflect some unsettling truths, it's the starting point of profound transformation. Delve deeper and Gurdjieff's philosophy reveals the multiplicity of selves within. We aren't unified entities. Instead, we're a cacophony of voices, each proclaiming to be the true I. This insight resonates with observations from many thinkers, but it was Gurdjieff who spotlighted it with piercing clarity. These many eyes manifest in our paradoxical behaviors. Ever sworn off sugar, but found yourself gobbling down a chocolate moments later? That's a different I having its say. It's like having a committee in your head, each member with its own agenda. Gurdjieff's antidote? Become an observer. Detect the shift from one eye to another. Recognize that these transient selves are often mere echoes of societal conditioning compliments of the matrix. By shedding light on them, you weaken their stranglehold, paving the way for your real eye, the luminescent quantum you. The illusion of external thrills, a pitfall many fall into, is equating excitement with happiness. The surge of adrenaline, the highs of external stimuli, they're fleeting. In your introspective journey, Realize that real excitement isn't in external theatrics. It's in the thrilling unveiling of quantum you. Don't mistake the serenity that will follow as boredom. In fact, without the chaotic interference of artificial thrills, what emerges is authenticity. Get off the roller coaster of perpetually entertaining Matrix U. The exhilaration of this quantum self discovery surpasses any ephemeral rush. When you truly awaken to yourself, even the quiet moments hum with an underlying current of joy. The tranquility that follows isn't loneliness, it's profound peace. The money shot, banking on your best self. You're probably wondering, 
what's this got to do with my bank account? Here's the scoop. Quantum U is swimming in success. They're making smart, savvy decisions, spotting golden opportunities, and living a life of prosperity. The more you listen to Quantum U, the more you align with this prosperous reality. Matrix U, they're stuck in scarcity mindset, missing opportunities, and clinging to financial instability. The one you give the wheel to drives your financial journey. When you let Quantum U take the wheel, you're positioning yourself right at the intersection of Materialization Avenue and Opportunity Street. The real currency in the quantum field isn't just cold, hard cash, but the quality of the version you have chosen to animate. The recap. Infinite versions of you are out there in the quantum field. Quantum U is the best version of you, ready to help you level up your game. Matrix U has had its time, but it's time for an upgrade. Poke the brain. If Quantum U showed up at your doorstep right now, what's the first piece of advice they'd give you? Your next power move. Juggernaut journal exercise. Upgrading from Matrix U to Quantum U. Objective. This exercise is designed to help you actively shift from the limiting patterns of Matrix U to the empowered state of Quantum U. Through reflection, awareness, and action steps, you'll transition from a passive observer of life to an active creator of your destiny. Step one, awareness and acceptance. List Matrix U characteristics. In one column, jot down habits, beliefs, and patterns that define Matrix U. Examples might include procrastination, self-doubt, or resistance to change. Acknowledge without judgment. Recognize that these patterns served a purpose at some point, but may no longer align with who you want to be now. No self-blaming, just pure acknowledgement. Step two, visioning quantum you. Describe quantum you. In another column, describe the characteristics, habits, and patterns of quantum you. What qualities do they possess? How do they respond to challenges? What actions do they take daily? Feel it. Visualization is key. Imagine a day in the life of Quantum U. What does it look, feel, sound, and taste like? Dive deep into this exercise to anchor the sensations and emotions. Step three, bridging the gap. Pinpoint key differences. Identify the main disparities between Matrix U and Quantum U. For example, if Matrix U tends to overthink decisions, Quantum U might be more intuitive and decisive. List down practical shifts. For each of the disparities identified, list a practical step or action that can help bridge the gap. Using the example above, you might decide to practice meditation to enhance intuition or set a time limit for making decisions. Step four, implementing change. Daily commitments. Every morning, choose one practical shift to focus on for the day. Commit to practicing it wholeheartedly. Evening reflection. Before bed, spend a few moments reflecting on your day. How did you embody quantum you? Where did you fall back into matrix you patterns? Celebrate the wins and learn from the slips. Step five, celebrate and connect. Acknowledge your growth. Every time you notice a positive shift, no matter how small, take a moment to acknowledge and celebrate it. Connect with Quantum U. Set aside a specific time each week to deeply connect with Quantum U through meditation, visualization, or any other technique that resonates with you. Remember, the journey from Matrix U to Quantum U isn't about perfection, but progress. It's about gradually aligning with a version of yourself that is empowered, proactive, and in sync with the infinite possibilities of the quantum field. Embrace the journey 
trust the process, and watch as the world transforms around you. Bonus round. Inviting in Quantum U Meditation. Objective. This meditation aims to create a profound connection between current you and your quantum you. Through visualization and inner dialogue, you'll meet, communicate with, and integrate aspects of this higher version of yourself. Preparation. Find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed for about 20 to 30 minutes. Wear comfortable clothing and either sit on a cushion with a straight spine or lie down. Take a few moments to relax, deepening your breath and grounding yourself. Meditation, one, begin with breathing. Focus on your breath, inhaling deeply through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. With each exhale, release any tension or stress. With each inhale, draw in peace and calm. Two, enter the quantum field. Visualize yourself standing in a vast, open space filled with shimmering, silvery energy. This is the quantum field, a realm of limitless possibilities. Feel its boundless energy wrapping around you. Three, the golden door. In the distance, see a magnificent golden door, emanating a warm, inviting glow. Know that behind this door is quantum you, the best version of yourself. Begin walking towards the door with confidence and anticipation. Four, the meeting. As you approach the door, it slowly opens to reveal quantum you. Take a moment to absorb their presence. How do they look? What energy do they radiate? How are they dressed? Notice their posture, the confidence in their gaze, the wisdom they exude. Five, embracing quantum you. Allow quantum you to step closer. Feel the resonating energies between the two of you. As they approach, note the similarities and differences. Acknowledge this higher version of yourself with gratitude and admiration. Six, open dialogue. Now is the time to communicate. Ask quantum you any questions you have. It can be about life choices, challenges you're facing, or simply seeking guidance on a matter. Listen intently to their responses. Trust the wisdom they offer. Seven, merging energies. Once the dialogue concludes, quantum you steps even closer, and the two of you start to merge into one being. As this happens, you feel an infusion of their wisdom, confidence, clarity, and love. This merging symbolizes the integration of quantum use characteristics into your daily life. Eight, gratitude and farewell. Thank quantum you for their guidance, wisdom, and energy. As you part, the golden door gently closes, but you know you can return anytime. Nine, returning to the present. Slowly become aware of your breathing again. Feel the ground beneath you. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Whenever you're ready, gently open your eyes. Post-meditation reflection. Take a few moments to write down any insights, messages, or feelings you experienced during the meditation. Reflect on how you can integrate quantum use guidance into your daily life. What actionable steps can you take? Remember, this inviting and quantum you meditation isn't just a one-time exercise. Regularly revisiting this meditation will strengthen your connection to quantum you, facilitating a seamless integration of their wisdom and energy into your daily life. Lesson 37, The Purge. Now that you're cozying up to your quantum you, and peeling away that matrix you like last year's fashion disaster, it's prime time for some cosmic housekeeping. I'm about to serve you a piping hot plate of truth with a side of reality check. As you vibe higher with quantum you and your matrix persona becomes a shadow of the past, you might notice your reality, everything from your pantry to your playlist. 
yearning for a makeover. Is it that pile of guilty pleasures you munch on? The incessant hum of news that's creating a background score to your life? Or that energy vampire in your life who's suddenly all up in your business as you're trying to evolve? Time to trim the fat. You see, every choice you make, every habit you indulge in, slots you into one of these versions. Ever done a tequila shot and immediately regretted it? That's Mr. Matrix having a go. Or have you ever chosen a calming tea instead of that fifth coffee? That's Miss Quantum giving you a gentle nudge. Do you always want to be stuck in a loop, making the same old mistakes? Or are you itching for some real transformation, some next level existence? Here's a cosmic cheat code for you. The quantum field has this quirky way of gifting those who vibe with its principles an uncanny flexibility. Yeah, the kind that lets you effortlessly dance around life's curveballs. Stubborn old habit? Poof, it's history. Family drama spiraling out of control? You're the Zen master in the eye of that storm. Now, think of the guy who's always blowing his lid, swearing, this is the last time, only to rinse and repeat. Why does he falter? Simple. His matrix self, the false self, is running the show. And let's be real, it thrives on chaos. It's like expecting a cactus to sprout roses. As Marcus Aurelius wisely put it, why be shocked when a fig tree sprouts figs? Real growth happens when deep self-reflection joins the chat. Otherwise, it's just a loop of mess up, confession, rinse, repeat. Another myth to bust? Your past missteps looming over you like some dark cloud. Newsflash. Once you set on the path to your quantum self, every hiccup, stumble, or faceplant becomes a stepping stone. Wake up from the drowsy trance of matrix reality, and you'll find the key to nixing the screw-ups. Wrap your head around this. The mistakes of your yesterdays weren't the deeds of your quantum self. It was the matrix self now on its way out. So, have you felt a tugging duality within recently? A little bit of yin-yang, the classic light and shadow? We humans, you see, were a fascinating blend of the matrix and quantum versions of ourselves. Sometimes, we're swiping left and right in the matrix, and other moments, we're floating on a quantum level. Either way, let's lay it out, shall we? Matrix you habits, tendencies, and patterns. Flipping the bird more than you change gears. Anger at every red light. Emptying your bank account while filling your shopping cart. Retail therapy, they call it. Overeating, especially when the emotions come out to play. Lighting up a cigarette as a buffer between you and your stressors. Netflix until 4 a.m., then knocking out with sleeping pills. Downing alcohol to drown out that inner voice or to loosen up. Excessive masturbation as an escape from boredom or emotional emptiness. Gorging on the latest drama like it's the main course. Arguing just to win, not to understand. Anything that brings the quickest pleasure, no matter the cost. Those habits dragging you down. The instant gratification shopping sprees. And anything that's feeding your matrix desires. Hit pause and take a deep, judgment-free look. Quantum you habits, tendencies, and patterns. Deep breathing exercises when traffic tightens. Thoughtful spending based on needs, not fleeting wants. Mindful eating, savoring each bite, acknowledging hunger cues, opting for walks or meditation during breaks, not the familiar pull of nicotine. Choosing content that uplifts, educates, or inspires. Drinking socially, and in moderation, or opting for mocktails. Recognizing the difference between self-love and using physical relief as an escape mechanism. Seeking conversations and experiences that spark genuine introspection. Engaging in dialogues to gain perspective, not just to rebut. 
embracing the journey and the growth it brings, even if the rewards are slow to show. Now, let's get personal. I've been on this journey too, and let me tell you, tidying up your personal universe? Worth it. My space now radiates joy. My tribe vibrates at the same frequency as my quantum self. And those pesky habits? Most of them are history. But here's the twist. Every now and then, I indulge in a little matrix mischief. Example, my old smoking habit? Yep, started at 13. Today, it's mostly kicked. But every blue moon, when a friend sparks one up at a cafe, I'll join in. Not out of craving, but as a nod to my matrix days. That, or maybe indulging in a mindless Netflix binge. Why? It's a little reminder that while quantum me is at the wheel, matrix me is still chilling in the back seat. Here's my golden nugget for you. When you occasionally vibe with your matrix self, do so without the guilt trip. Dabble in a guilty pleasure if it doesn't trigger a craving or a bout of self-reproach. If there's even a whiff of either, it's time for a heart-to-heart -heart with quantum you. After all, this journey is all about balance, not banishment. The money shot. Show me the money. Now, let's get real and talk about the Benjamins. Every matrix you choice isn't just chipping away at your mental and physical well-being, but it's also siphoning off your wealth, your opportunities, and your financial security. Those impulsive buys, they aren't adding value. They're short-lived pleasures with long-lasting consequences. Embracing the quantum you is like investing in stocks that promise steady, long-term returns. It's about creating wealth in all aspects of your life. The recap, you have two distinct versions of yourself. The matrix, who's about the now, the quick fixes, and the instant, often regretful choices. And then there's the quantum, who's all about the bigger picture, the growth, and the long haul. Your life's quality, wealth, and opportunities, they're directly tied to which version of you is calling the shots. Poke the brain. Ask yourself, when was the last time you made a choice that screamed matrix? And when did you embrace your quantum side? Your next power move. Juggernaut journal exercise, introspective power move. Divide a page right down the middle. Step one, matrix eyeballing. On the left, jot down all the matrix patterns, habits, and indulgences you reckon need some serious eyeballing. Let's be brutally honest here. No one's peeking but you. Step two, quantum gold mines. On the right, make a note of those quantum you patterns and habits you believe can be dialed up a notch. These are your gold mines, your strengths. Step three, awareness key. Remember, awareness isn't just the key. It's the whole darn treasure chest. So, Gear up and let's dive deep. Step four, flex your muscles. Knowing yourself, both the matrix and the quantum versions is the ultimate power move. Now, go on and flex those introspective muscles. By taking time to identify both your matrix patterns that need addressing and your quantum strengths that can be amplified, you are taking control of your narrative. This exercise empowers you to break free from the matrix and harness your quantum potential to create a more intentional and prosperous reality. Lesson 38, your real dream. In our last powwow, we dived deep into the rabbit hole of human quirks. Remember, we laid bare the tango between our matrix shenanigans and our quantum masterstrokes. But hold on to your latte, because this lesson, it's all about one of matrix use most toxic flings. The relentless pursuit of matrix standards. Imagine this, 
a cosmic DMZ. On one side stands Quantum U, empowered, tapping into unparalleled abilities and embracing the unique nuances that make you genuinely extraordinary. But lurking on the other side is Matrix U, caught in the web of vanity metrics, always chasing the latest trend and constantly wondering if you're checking the right boxes. Eye roll, right? Time to snip that toxic tie. This madness? Yeah, it's gotta bounce. So, you feel like a rat in a maze, blindly following cheese, huh? That cheese, often crafted by the omnipresent matrix, seems so appetizing. But is it genuinely what you hunger for? Think about it. Every billboard, every ad, every influencer paints a glamorous picture. Big houses, luxury cars, and a life of opulence. The Matrix dangles these tantalizing carrots in front of you, making you believe they're the epitome of success. But dig deeper. Maybe your heart doesn't beat for an exotic sports car, but yearns for a simple bike ride through winding countryside roads. Perhaps the high-rise penthouse doesn't excite you as much as a cozy cabin nestled amidst the mountains where you can pen down poetry as the sun dips beyond the horizon. The Matrix's standards? It's akin to fast food, tempting in commercials, but often leaving you with an emptiness, a hunger for something more nourishing, more real. Now, ask yourself, have you been dining on the Matrix's menu or creating a fulfilling recipe for yourself? Here's a hard truth. If you don't set your own standards of wealth, the Matrix will gladly do it for you. Remember, every time you chase someone else's dream, you stray further from your own. Personal note. Once upon a time, my life mirrored the pages of a luxury lifestyle magazine. My sleek BMW wasn't just a mode of transportation. It symbolized who I had become. From the lofty heights of my penthouse, I looked out upon a sprawling cityscape, feeling like royalty in their castle. Every accolade, every material gain, was a nod from the Matrix. I had made it. But as my collection of successes grew, so did an inner emptiness. Each new achievement was like pouring water into a sieve, momentarily satisfying, but quickly drained away. Surrounded by the finer things, there were moments when I'd pause, a quiet voice within asking, is this all there is? What comes next? The Matrix's version of success felt hollow, a shimmering illusion that, no matter how much I chased, always remained just out of reach. What shocked me further was realizing I wasn't on this treadmill alone. Discussions with contemporaries, some even more successful by conventional metrics, revealed similar sentiments. From property tycoons to finance gurus, a recurring theme emerged. Beneath the facade of vast wealth and acclaim, many grappled with an undercurrent of discontent. Some admitted feeling ensnared by their own success, yearning for freedom despite being surrounded by luxury. It became painfully clear that the Matrix's glossy promise of arrival seldom equates to happiness or inner peace. This realization serves as a stark reminder. Perhaps our true quest isn't about collecting the world's trophies, but about understanding what genuinely enriches our souls. The money shot, awakening from the nightmare, adopting society's yardstick for success, feels like being trapped in an endless loop, forever chasing, never truly attaining. Genuine wealth, prosperity, and satisfaction stem from aligning with your core desires. It's not about the flashiness of what you possess, but the authenticity of what you pursue. When you chase genuine passion and align with quantum you, prosperity isn't a far off dream. It becomes an attainable reality. Opportunities arise, not because you're conforming to someone else's standards, but because you're forging your own path remaining true to your quantum self. The money you earn carries meaning 
because it springs from a genuine place within your creativity, contributing to something greater than yourself. It's rooted in ideas birthed from the quantum field, not some blueprint handed down by the matrix. And as you transition to quantum you, realizing wealth beyond your wildest dreams, you find you crave it less and less. Your benchmarks evolve. Quantum you revels in simple pleasures, often requiring little to no money or in the joy of creativity. Everything starts to shift and transform before your eyes. Those standards you once strained to meet, they now seem like a distant nightmare, barely remembered. The recap. The matrix, with its flashy lights and loud promises, can be enticing. But remember, it often sells a one-size-fits-all dream. Your journey to prosperity must resonate with your quantum self's desires, not what's plastered on a billboard. Find your authentic aspirations, go for them, and watch as real prosperity envelops you. Poke the brain. Are you running someone else's race? Or have you carved out your own path, lined with your dreams and desires? Your next power move. Juggernaut Journal Exercise. Authentic Aspiration Audit. Navigating the maze of matrix-inspired goals can be dizzying. Often, the line between what you truly desire and what the matrix prescribes blurs. This exercise aims to help you gain clarity on your authentic aspirations, ensuring that every step you take aligns with your quantum you. Objective. Distinguish between matrix-imposed desires and your quantum you intentions, and recalibrate your life to resonate with genuine ambitions. One. The desire list. Start with a blank page. Draw a vertical line down the middle, creating two columns. On the left, list down everything you currently aspire to or are working towards. For example, owning a fancy car, a big house, a high paying job, etc. On the right, jot down reasons why you want each of those things. Be brutally honest. If it's for societal validation or to fit in, Note that down. Two, the quantum filter. Review each aspiration and its associated reason. Does the reason resonate with your heart's true desire or does it feel superficial and imposed by external pressures? Circle the aspirations that genuinely align with quantum you. Strike through those that seem matrix imposed. Three, visioning quantum success for each aspiration that you've circled. Visualize what achieving it would look and feel like. Bask in the state of being. If the state of being feels uplifting, genuine, and fulfilling, it's a keeper. If it feels hollow or unfulfilling, reconsider its place in your life. For the aspirations you've struck through, think of what a more aligned quantum version might look like. For instance, instead of the high-rise penthouse, maybe it's that cozy mountain cabin. Four, blueprint of authenticity. Having sifted through your aspirations, create a plan for the coming months, prioritizing those goals that resonate with your quantum you. Ensure your actions, decisions, and investments, time, money, and energy align with these authentic aspirations. Five, daily check-in. Each day, as you work towards these aspirations, pause and ask yourself, is this choice bringing me closer to my quantum aspirations or pushing me into the matrix maze? Over time, this will become a habit, guiding your decisions and actions towards genuine fulfillment. Reflection time. At the end of a month, sit with your list. Reflect on the progress you've made. Celebrate the steps you've taken towards your quantum aspirations. Note any moments you felt pulled into the matrix's illusion and contemplate what triggered it. This awareness will arm you against future such diversions. Committing to this exercise 
will help you continually recalibrate your path. Ensuring you're not aimlessly chasing the Matrix's cheese, but dining on a fulfilling feast of your making. Remember, prosperity doesn't lie in acquiring what's on the billboard, but in achieving what's in your heart. Lesson 39. Soul Code. Do you sense it? That gentle pulse of your quantum self emerging from beneath the layers you're steadily shedding? It's intoxicating in all the right ways, isn't it? The newfound lightness, the whispers of promise, and that profound connection to something greater. A connection that remains unfazed by the Matrix's need for affirmation. Now, we're hitting our stride. We're in full swing. In our upcoming lesson, we'll elevate our journey even further. By distancing yourself from Matrix-imposed standards and tuning into the true essence of your soul, you're preparing for a profound transformation. Let's go. Think of the quantum field as a colossal radio, teeming with infinite channels, each broadcasting its own unique frequency. You probably go about your life randomly flipping through these stations, occasionally resonating with a tune, but never quite understanding why. Herein lies the secret. To harness the power of the quantum field, you must tune into your own soul's unique frequency, your soul code. Picture the vast quantum field. It's not some distant realm. It's right here, intertwined with your reality. Each sector of this field vibrates with its own distinct melody. Your job? To find your song and sing it unabashedly. When you sing in harmony with your soul code, the song matches a quantum field sector. And presto, that becomes your reality. This isn't just spiritual mumbo jumbo. It's quantum capitalism in its purest form. What exactly is the soul code? It's a composite of all your unique traits, your strengths, talents, and the very elements that make you, authentically, you. The Matrix may want you to blend in, but it's your soul code that ensures you stand out. However, over time, the Matrix has tinkered with and altered this intrinsic code. In essence, the Matrix has attempted to overwrite your original programming. But here's the good news. You can revert to your genuine self by attuning to your soul code. This isn't about transforming into a different person. It's about rediscovering and embracing who you truly are. However, there's a catch. Your code isn't written in the lines of your palm or the constellations above. It's buried deep within, veiled by societal standards personal insecurities, and matrix-imposed beliefs. Yet, when glimpsed, it holds a magnetism that's beyond captivating. You've met them, haven't you? Individuals who defy societal standards of beauty, success, or charisma, yet leave an unforgettable mark wherever they go. They are the soulful sages amidst a sea of superficiality. Their charm? They've tapped into their code. It's an allure that doesn't comply with worldly standards. It transcends them. Keep a lookout. You might spot one. Meet Dr. Alex Carter. The city was always a buzz, a cacophony of sirens, honks, and the distant murmurs of a million conversations. In the heart of it all was Dr. Alex Carter, a renowned physician with accolades aplenty. Patients waited months for an appointment, and his peers revered him as one of the best in the field. His parents proudly showcased articles about their son in their living room, basking in the reflected glow of his success. Yet for Alex, something was always amiss. His sprawling apartment overlooking the park, his friends who were quoted in medical journals, the expensive wine he sipped. None of it felt truly his. 
it was as if he were living someone else's life. Every night, he would return home, and the hollow echo of his footsteps in the marble hallway would serve as a stark reminder of his disjointed reality. Unbeknownst to many, Alex harbored a secret passion. As a child, he was enchanted by tales of mystery and suspense. The twists, the turns, the unraveling of enigmatic plots. These tales captured his imagination like nothing else. Under the blankets with a flashlight, young Alex would devour pages, losing himself in worlds far removed from the pragmatic path his life had taken. As years turned to decades, the weight of this other life, this should have been, began to press upon him. The city, with its towering skyscrapers, felt suffocating. The parties, brimming with medical anecdotes, grew tedious. One evening, after a particularly grueling surgery, Alex found an old notebook from his childhood. Flipping through, he stumbled upon a half-written mystery tale, a relic from a time when dreams were unbridled. A fire ignited within him. That night, Alex wrote. He penned down thoughts, feelings, and mysteries, unraveling stories from the depths of his soul. With each word, the grip of the Matrix began to loosen. It was as if the quantum field enveloped him, guiding his hand, drawing him closer to a sector of reality that felt unmistakably right. Six months later, Alex took the most courageous step of his life. He resigned. Word spread like wildfire, peers were flabbergasted, and his parents struggled to comprehend. But Alex had caught a glimpse of his soul code, and there was no turning back. He sold his city apartment, packed his essentials, and journeyed to a quaint mountain town in a foreign land. Surrounded by nature, he found a little house overlooking valleys and peaks. There, with pen and paper, Dr. Alex Carter began his second life, this time as Alex Carter, the mystery novelist. The transition wasn't without challenges. Doubts and fears occasionally knocked on his door. But every time he wrote, every time a new mystery unraveled on his pages, the universe seemed to affirm his choice. Soon, his novels gained traction. Readers from around the globe were captivated by his tales. In the town, he found kinship with a close-knit group of artists and writers, each on their own journey of self-discovery. Their evenings were filled with discussions on their projects and the mysteries of life. Years later, as the sun painted the morning sky with hues of gold, Alex sat on his porch, a manuscript on his lap that he knew would be a bestseller. Looking out over the vast expanse, a serene smile played on his lips. Life felt dreamlike, unreal in its perfection. His every day was a testament to the magic that happens when one truly tunes into their soul code. Merging with a sector of the quantum field, designed especially for them. All right, a little side note to Dr. Alex's narrative. Let's not get it twisted. Happiness isn't about a change of scenery, new friends, or a shiny new job title. Trying to snatch a fresh slice of reality while still marinating in the same old personal muck will always, always circle back to a dead end. But here's the kicker. Change the inner landscape, and voila, you slide into a different slice of reality where the scenery is, dare we say, refreshingly better. Dialing to your soul code is where you find inner freedom. Freedom from what, you ask? A little soul coding, and you purge your private collection of angers and anxieties. It's freedom from the haunting fear of ending up alone, unloved, unimportant. Freedom from the confusing mess in your head that pushes you into doing things you later wish you hadn't. Freedom from the desperate longing that tricks you into believing that having this person or that thing 
will magically make everything all right. Simply put, happiness is breaking free from everything that makes you unhappy. Now, here's the tricky bit. Happiness doesn't have a shape, size, or color. It can't be squeezed into the boxes of our demands. We stamp our feet and demand this partner, that career, this house, that sense of security, thrill, or distraction. And even when we get everything on our wish list, surprise, surprise, we're not dancing with joy. We've just papered over our unhappiness. It's still lurking in the shadows, ready to jump out in those moments when you see through the illusions. The way out. Smash the sector altogether and just let life unfold. Suddenly, we find ourselves in a world we never knew existed. Try this. Quietly question every belief you hold about yourself. Ask, could it be that the person I believe I am is entirely different from my actual self? Consider the possibility. When you do that, you set off a chain reaction. It's like waking up to a whole new world. You start feeling differently about yourself. You can't quite put your finger on it. And guess what? You don't need to. It's a faint stirring of something new, something different. Dip your toe into this mighty quantum flow and you feel its force right away. That's how it hits you. Sure, money can't buy happiness, but when you're raking in the dough doing something that sings to your soul, thriving in the slice of reality that's tailor-made for you, well, let's just say it's a whole lot of fuck yes. The money shot. Cracking the code, the anti-matrix move. Here's the kicker. This harmony, this alignment, is your ticket to unparalleled prosperity. When you resonate with your soul code, you're not just attuned to your soul, but to the very fabric of the quantum field. Discord with the code, on the other hand, closes doors and misses beats. Syncing with your soul's code isn't merely about finding inner tranquility. It's the blueprint to a prosperity that's uniquely tailored for you. The recap. To unlock the boundless affluence of the quantum field, you must first discover and align with your soul's code. It's your map, guiding you through the sectors of the quantum field. The true treasures aren't out there in the cosmos. They are buried deep within. The holy grail is internal. Poke the brain. Is your current sector of reality genuinely tailored for you? If the answer isn't a resounding yes, are you prepared to discover why? Your next power move. Soul coding meditation. Dive deep into the quantum field to uncover and attune to your unique soul code. This meditation will guide you to connect with that intrinsic rhythm, harmonizing your frequency with the quantum field. Objective, discover and align with your unique soul code, unveiling a map to the treasures of the quantum field. Preparation, choose a quiet and comfortable spot where you won't be interrupted. Posture, sit comfortably with your back straight, either on a chair or cross-legged on the floor. If you prefer, you can also lie down. Intent, before starting, mentally affirm, I'm on a quest to discover and align with my soul code. Breathing technique. Inhalation. Take a deep breath in through the nose for a count of four. Hold. Hold the breath for a count of four. Exhalation. Release the breath through the mouth for a count of eight. Repeat this breathing cycle for a few minutes until you feel calm and centered. Visualization. Quantum field. Picture yourself standing at the edge of an infinite, luminous field, stretching as far as the eye can see. This is the quantum field, alive with countless melodies and frequencies. Radio tower. In the distance, you see a towering radio mast. Approach it. 
This tower represents your current connection to the quantum field, broadcasting your current frequency. Soul code discovery. Old station. Notice that the radio tower is currently tuned to a certain station. This station, emitting a discordant tune, symbolizes the matrix's influence on your life. Tuning. Now, gently turn the dial on the tower. As you do, different melodies emerge. These represent various parts of you. Some might be influenced by societal expectations, some by personal fears, and some your genuine soul code. Resonance. Continue tuning until you come across a melody that feels intrinsically you. It's a melody that feels familiar, yet extraordinary. It resonates deep within, awakening a sense of profound recognition. This is your soul code. Embracing the code. Harmony. Allow this melody to envelop you. Feel every note, every rhythm. As you immerse yourself, notice how the quantum field responds, lighting up in vibrant colors and patterns. Affirmation. As you resonate with your unique tune, affirm, I embrace and honor my unique soul code. I align my frequency with the infinite quantum field. Integration. Slowly bring your awareness back to your physical surroundings, carrying with you the melody of your soul code. Gently open your eyes, taking a moment to internalize this newfound awareness. Post-meditation awareness exercise. Throughout the day, whenever you're faced with decisions, choices, or actions, pause and ask, is this in harmony with my soul code? This consistent check-in will serve as a compass, guiding your actions and choices towards authentic prosperity and quantum field alignment. Remember, every time you align with your soul code, you're not just finding personal harmony, but tapping into the abundant reservoir of the quantum field. Lesson 40, Unleashing. Remember the Wizard of Oz, the Tin Man, Scarecrow, Lion, and Dorothy, each searching for something they believed they lacked, only to find, after a whirlwind of adventures, that they always had what they sought. The wizard didn't give them magic. He gave them belief in their own magic. The power to see and connect with what was there all along. Just like Oz's gang, you've got a power within and it's not stashed in some distant emerald city. It's nestled right inside your soul code. The dark forces, the matrix and black holes, love to have you believe that you're just another cog in their vast machinery. They thrive when you're blind to your own potential, just spinning in place. But why? Well, a person aware of their unique essence challenges the status quo. And that, my friend, is a direct threat to the matrix. Yet, the irony is palpable. Societies need rules, yes. Without them, chaos reigns. But when the price of societal order is your individuality, you're robbed. Stripped of your dreams and aspirations, replaced with molds that hardly fit, your divine essence, forgotten. So ask yourself, is the sector you inhabit genuinely crafted for your essence? If not, warning, transitioning from the matrix you to the attuned quantum you, aligned with your soul code, isn't achieved with the mere flip of a switch. Your starting point, prioritizing some genuine self-reflection. Instead of the endless scroll on your social media, take a moment, feel the dirt beneath your feet on a hike, breathe in nature and let the fresh air clear your mind. Ask yourself, what is it that I truly want? Why do I feel stuck in a loop? And who put these perceived barriers in front of me? And why did I allow this? Reflect upon Dr. Alex Carter's narrative. It wasn't reluctance that kept him from acknowledging his dream. It was sheer obliviousness. The only thing he really knew was that something just didn't feel right. His concern for societal reputation, professional stature, and familial expectations failed his heart's true yearnings. This 
is often our plight. We stray from our destined paths, seduced by external voices, until we become numb, ceasing to question. Such disconnection sows the seeds of existential crises. When one seeks fleeting solace and stuff, it's a desperate attempt to soothe the cries of the soul seeking acknowledgement. This is the exact making of a midlife crisis. When the middle-aged, overworked dad goes out and buys a red Corvette to drive around town, the soul is screaming out for help. Yet the man doesn't know how to help it. So he reaches for a material possession he's always wanted to create some relief. And this probably does provide some relief, although fleeting. True fulfillment is found when you intimately understand your soul code, those facets that render you distinct and gifted. Challenges will persist, but the haunting question, is there something more, diminishes. That something more is your soul code. However, venturing this deep can be unsettling for those firmly anchored to the matrix's rigid benchmarks, or those who prioritize familial and societal validation. Undeniably, transitioning to a higher vibrational realm may stir discomfort, akin to shifting gears to ascend a steep incline. If you find contentment in your current reality and deem this exploration excessive or even overwhelming, it's understandable. Delving into the profound recesses of one's soul code is a pilgrimage reserved for those yearning for radical transformation. Remember, genuine paradigm shifts happen first within, which inevitably ripple into your external world. These ripples can create discord initially, and many might not be ready for this level of work. The true magic unfolds when you genuinely listen to your soul's whispers. Once you act in harmony with your soul's deepest desires and recalibrate your life accordingly, you attain a steadfast inner grit that remains unshakable by outside forces. That soul code harmony, it was in Dr. Alex Carter's eyes as the dawn bathed him in gold, manuscript in hand, no longer seeking validation. He had transformed into the composer of his life's symphony. He had evolved into the masterful architect of his destiny, profoundly aware of his newfound sovereignty. The money shot, there's no place like home. You'll find that your soul code isn't just a philosophical concept. It's the yellow brick road to unparalleled prosperity. Envision the moment a key perfectly fits a lock, turning smoothly, opening a door with ease. When you're attuned to your soul code, Opportunities aren't just available, they feel custom tailored, designed just for you. The wealth you'll create isn't about mere numbers on a screen. It's the kind of affluence that feels right, resonating with your very essence. This isn't about chasing after fleeting financial gains. It's about unlocking a sector where your wealth mirrors your soul's purpose. When you align, you don't just succeed, you thrive on your own terms, basking in a prosperity that feels divinely intended just for you. The recap, when you harness the magic generated via your soul code, you align with the quantum field in unstoppable ways. Authenticity isn't just a personal triumph. It's the business strategy for those brave enough to deploy it. Poke the brain. So ask yourself, are you still searching for the Emerald City? Or are you ready to recognize the wizardry of your own soul code? Your next power move, self-discovery through observing others' observation exercise. Are you ready to unmask the wizard within? I can imagine that much of this may seem ambiguous and confusing, yet once you gain a sense of what the soul code is, you can begin the fine tuning process. Often, we are challenged to connect with qualities within ourselves because they are obscured by standards, programming, and beliefs that no longer serve us. We have tailored ourselves to fit within the confines of the matrix, 
and realigning ourselves can seem daunting. I encourage you to shift your focus outward to gain insights. Start by observing every person you come into contact with on a daily basis and acknowledge those who possess a certain je ne sais quoi. Look for individuals who seem aligned, charismatic, and energetic. Seek out those who appear to be in a state of flow, living in the moment, and positively impacting the people they encounter. Then, shift your focus to the antithesis of these people. Observe those who are bogged down by the matrix, like the person yelling at traffic in their car, the grocer who seems to hold contempt for every customer, or the family member who is eternally miserable. Try to pinpoint the moments when you recognize that a person is tapped into their innate talents and special abilities. Absorb their energy. In turn, recognize individuals who seem disconnected from their true selves and commit to disengaging from your own self in the ways that you observe. If you spend just a single day observing reality through this lens and aligning with these ideals, by the end of the day, you will see the magic in front of you. Reality might take on an entirely different hue and transform before your eyes. Things will begin to look up and the matrix will seem much more recognizable and manageable. It is by tuning into the code of our souls that we truly exit the matrix. Try it for yourself and see.